Hello guys, it's your girl Onana and this is Onana Nation. So if you're new here, a very special welcome to you. Please go ahead and subscribe as we dive into today's topic. And to my returning subscribers, thank you guys for all the love and support. I appreciate you guys. So today we have sad news reaching us from Cameroon, sad news reaching us from Yaoundé. A young dynamic um, lady, her name is Karen. Karen Norris has just died in Yaoundé and allegedly she was poisoned. So Karen is a hardworking young lady, an entrepreneurial lady. I mean, she's a boss lady by all means and she is only 22. Too, but she's making all these entrepreneurial strides and apparently some of her friends were jealous of her so karen just launched her business a few days ago um i think that was the 15th of may that's like two weeks ago barely two weeks ago karen is a professional makeup artist she's also into aesthetics she does beauty and all these manicures and pedicures and facial massages and you know whole body massages and all that good stuff so karen launched her own beauty salon called karen's corner and there they did facial treatments and all the stuff i listed earlier so apparently as this lady is struggling living her life making entrepreneurial strides boss moves here and there it attracted a lot of enemies around her a lot of her friends became jealous and they started nursing evil plants in their hearts so karen's friends have invited her that bo kame mo celebrate a new success so mo celebrate your new victory they organized like a girls hangout a girls get together and they went to a restaurant there in Yaoundé at Karifu Emia. So in Karen's mind, she was going to meet her girlfriends. They're going to be celebrating. They're going to be happy. You know, baby girl is winning. So her girls have to be happy for her. In her innocent mind, that's what she thought she was going to do. But allegedly, the friends have all been jealous of her and they had ulterior motives. They called her there for something completely different. She didn't see, she didn't see it coming. So the friends had allegedly planned to poison her and this is all by stories we hear on the internet. I read this on Better Things, you know. So they say um, her friends called her, she came, they sat down and then they started eating. They ordered some food, they ordered some drinks. You know how you would do when you're hanging out with your girls? You know, you're not even suspecting anything, you're not even thinking anything. So she ate freely, drank freely and allegedly somebody dropped something in her food. And as soon as she ate it, the friends were like, got you, we got you. So in the mind of the friends, they were like, okay, we've done what we wanted to do we have to get this lady out of here immediately you know poison works some poisons work fast some poisons manifest slowly so the friends knew immediately that she has eaten the poison they have to take her out of that restaurant because if she falls down and dies in their presence people start asking them questions people start questioning them so they had to do everything within their power to send her far away from that restaurant as far as possible and as fast as possible so immediately she ate the friends took her they went outside called the taxi stopped the taxi put her in the taxi told the taxi driver take this girl to her house so go drop her in her house where she lives the taxi driver they gave a taxi driver 10,000 francs and he was like 10,000 you guys are giving me like that me I don't have me change you I don't have change to give you guys so the, the girls were like you know what driver we don't care at this point take this girl to her house now 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 so they were doing everything to make sure that the driver leaves for, um, with the friend they take her as far from that restaurant as possible because if the poison start manifesting and she dies there they'll ask them questions so they told the driver, driver, what is 10,000? Take the money and go. You can figure out the change situation along the way, but make sure you take this lady away from here, take her to her house. The driver said, okay, oh, you know drivers in Cameroon, ah, give her what email, uh, let so the driver carried the lady and you know he was driving and going along the journey he realized that this lady is uncomfortable this lady is manifesting some strange signs like something is not right with the lady so the driver was asking asso asso tout va bien là-bas derrière tout va bien avec toi the lady was not speaking the driver said ha ma on don't come he parked the car by the roadside and then rushed behind opened the door to check how the lady was faring and karen was already foaming at the mouth vomiting peeping on her body on the spot and you know passing feces and everything at once the driver was like Papa go do my own don't come what which I don't carry off my moto so vomiting in my car pooing in my car peeing in my car is this girl okay the driver said the car in the gear and shouting oh a dem wow a dem wow he started driving the car you know around Karifu Emia which is where the restaurant is you know all that area Yaoundé is just intertwined like that and Kadad and BMRC to give all those places are just around each other the driver was driving and running and going down finding the next available hospital he stopped at the hospital there at BMRC 
took the lady into the hospital, rushed immediately. Doctor, doctor, called the doctors or the nurses and started working on Karen, started pressing, trying to resuscitate her, trying to revive her. It was already late. The lady just kept vomiting and vomiting and pooping and, you know, peeping and everything at once, passing feces and vomiting, everything at once. The, the doctors were confused. They tried all they could to resuscitate her, to revive her. Unfortunately, Karen died. She lost her life just like that over what was supposed to be a hangout with her girlfriends. Unfortunately, somebody like dropped something in her food. The doctors at the hospital, the nurses, everybody said this girl has been poisoned. Like, there's no way this girl has been poisoned. That's, that was their first examination that she had been poisoned. All the signs point to poisoning. However, they still have to conduct an autopsy to see um, if truly um, poisoning was the reason of her death, was the cause of death. So we are waiting on the autopsy results, but the doctors have said the first signs and symptoms, everything points to poisoning. So you can see the world of today. The Bible says the heart of man is desperately wicked. Who can know it? Ever since I heard this story, I've not just been myself. I've been so sad since yesterday. It's terrible. The amount of jealousy that is out here. You see young ladies struggling to make ends meet, struggling to make a name for themselves, struggling to do business, to provide food for themselves, for their kids, for their parents. Some of them have siblings they're providing for. Nobody knows her story. They only see the push for young lady she is. You don't know whether she's to take care of her whole family you don't know but they look at her and they start getting jealous and see what they've done today so this is really unfortunate and current family plans to open investigations on this case so they've opened investigations they're trying to find out what happened to their daughter so um I would advise them to start the investigation from the taxi driver who dropped her at the hospital. They should get him, get his number. When you bring a patient to the hospital, sometimes you have to put a deposit before they start working for on her. Sometimes you have to put your number, your name, and all that stuff. So they should start by investigating the taxi driver. Where did you speak? Where did you pick this lady up yesterday? He's going to say the name of the restaurant, and then they'll go to the restaurant and start questioning the owner, the workers in there, and all that stuff. And then they'll start asking him questions. Who put this lady in your taxi? Who are those friends? He should be able to identify them. He should be able to point them. Like they need to. To know who those ladies are and what they did to Karen. If they hold them, they go talk me, they hold them. They need to find those ladies. They need to confess. What have you done to your friend? They need to talk so we can know. This is really unfortunate. So you can see the people you're out here calling your friends. You love them and you're out here doing all you can for them. Sometimes you even move mountains for them. You do everything you can to help them and they are only jealous of you. They are only jealous. Now it's, it's, it's just unfortunate the way the human mind works these days. It's terrible, really. So today they are advising everybody, oh, be careful with the kind of friends you keep be careful be careful but i'm just here like how would you even know how was karen supposed to know she thought she was going to relax with her girlfriends who are genuinely happy for her as she's succeeding as she's winning how would she have known so they're advising everybody today hey be careful the kind of friends you keep that's a good piece of advice but how would we know everybody smiles in your face everybody claims to be happy with you and you know how would you even know the ones who are nursing evil in their heart how would you know the heart of man is really wicked somebody can be smiling in your face you don't have no idea what is in their heart so at the end of the day, um, I guess we just have to be careful as they are saying today. We should be careful with the kind of people we hang out with. I don't know how we're still going to be able to tell, but we just have to be careful. We have to try to, you know, take care, you know, look before we leap and all that stuff. And today on the internet, people are advising people, don't bring people too close to you. Don't be people too close to you if they're not your sibling, if they're not your friends from way back when, if they're not your day one friend that you've gone through thick and thin with, do not trust them. But then again, you'll see even friends that have been your friend from day one you've gone through thick and thin with them some of them still wish evil on you so what are we supposed to do finally i'm just confused so at the end of the day i guess we just have to give everything in the hands of god leave everything in god's hands you know at the end of the day only he's the alpha and omega at the beginning and the end only him can see the hearts of people we cannot see that that privilege was not given to us so at the end of the day we just have to commend our lives into the hands of god you know so he can protect us and watch over us you know and all that good stuff only god can protect you from harm's way only god can protect you from the arrows of the enemy sometimes even when you sleep at night you don't know what's going on you don't know everything that's around you at the end of the day we just leave everything in god's hands father oh, into your hands we leave our life into our hands into your hands we commit everything that concerns us watch over us so oh, protect us jesus so today i pray for everybody every follower every subscriber every supporter of another nation we pray for ourselves today we cover ourselves with the blood of jesus we are protected we are heavenly protected in the name of jesus nobody will cut our lives halfway nobody 
somebody will frustrate our destiny we shall work hard and we shall reap the fruits of our labor as we sow so shall we reap as we plant we shall also harvest nobody will cut our life short nobody will take away our joy from us nobody will harvest us from the earth prematurely before we can reap the fruits of our labor so god will protect us and cover us under his mighty arms of protection under his wings any weapon fashioned against us we send it back to the sender no evil shall befall us not us not our families you know we are protected in the name of jesus it's really sad that the time that you're hustling and working hard nobody cares nobody sees you but as soon as small five francs want to enter your hands enemies will go from left right and center will start coming towards you so we dedicate everything to the hands of god at the end of the day only he can protect us father may your will be done in our lives watch over us protect us we shall never leave our journey halfway we shall fulfill our destiny nobody shall frustrate our lives nobody shall cut us from this earth before our time so yeah it's really a sad day for me when i heard this case it's been draining i I felt down emotionally since yesterday this video i should have done it since yesterday i was really down i didn't know i could address this topic it's really unfortunate and it's so sad when you think about how much evil is in the earth how much evil is in people's hearts so yeah Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I remain your girl Lunana. If it is your first time on this channel, please don't go without subscribing, like, comment, and share. Leave me your comments in the comment section. I'll be reading, I'll be replying. Oof, Father, take control. I love you guys. Stay safe. Next time, goodbye.